Welcome to today's show, Youth at the Crossroads. I am your host, <laughs> Kariki Gige. The issue of social media is with us, and one of the issues that has risen all, uh, the, the, currently is the issue of relationship in the social media. Social media came with its pro and con. One of the good things of a social media is that people are able to socialize, people are able to relate well, and even meeting people that you have never met in your life through social media. Our youth are not left behind. Youth are in social media. They do all sorts of things, benefits that benefit them, and something that sometimes find themselves in the law. In today's show, we discuss the issue of can you get a friend, and not only a friend, an intimate friend in the social media, with us to discuss this issue, we have our guests, Fired, we have Reverend Doreen. How are you, Mchugaji? I'm fine. Reverend Doreen is a Paris priest, a mother, and also a youth mentor. Welcome yes. to the show. Thank you so much. Next to me is Rogers. Rogers is an author, and he has authored two books, My Great, My Project, Youth and Love Life. This have been littered by our guest today, Rogers. He is also a youth mentor and more so a chaplain in our schools. Welcome to the show. Thank you, my host. Thank you so much. We have a host of youth who are here to bring the voices of the young people on the show. For Ed, we have Modoni, just we have Modoni. Then from Modoni, we have Kiama. Kiama, we have Kori. And then we have uh, Timon. And next to me, Smiling and Sefa is Grace. Hi, viewer. Thank you. Welcome all. So the issue of youth and relationship, and in particular, social media intimate relationship. Before we go to social media, Rogers, you know we are Christian, and we base our, all what we do, we base it biblically. Can you give us a biblical view of relationship? Thank you very much. Even as we discuss the current day advancements of technology that brings about social media, we ought to know that our God is holy, and he who has called us asks us to be holy as he is. God's best intention for us is to do things that are licious, things that are holy, things that will qualify us to inherit the kingdom of God. However, uh, there are things that are coming our way, and if we don't use them very well, they're going to disconnect us from that relationship with God. And you can't be sure once we are disconnected from God, then our goods, our developments, and mostly to the, our youth and teens will be so remitted. So uh, it's in my thinking that even in the scriptures, God is after holiness. And the advancements of technology should not alter the holiness of God. What do I mean? Long before we got even the public address systems and everything that we're using around us, the word of God will still come our way. The times of Jesus Christ himself, they would, would preach and teach the word of God without these technological advancements, and people would get to believe in God and live in him. Many, many years later, we have this technology coming our way. Advancement of it is social media. We ought not to use it to move us from the goodness of God or from holiness of God or to disconnect us from that what God says is holy. Well, thank you so much. What you are saying is that God is holy. And as his people, we also should be holy in whatever we are doing. Even Doreen, maybe you have something to add. Bibirikar, what does God expect from us as youth? Thank you so much. Viewers, I would want to say that biblically, 
God wants us to relate well, either in same sex or in opposite sex. They are all relationship, and as you see in the Ten Commandments, in the, fourth, the first four commandments, it talks about his relationship and with his people. In the other six commandments, it talks about me and the other person, how are we supposed to relate? Mm -hmm. So relationships, the relationships are core and very important in Christianity and to us as Christians. However, despite the, the, the one and on one relationship, I uh, believe there is also this extra relationship to the young people about the man and woman relationship. And as we see it in the book of Genesis, we see God saying, when a man is ripe for marriage, when a woman is ripe for marriage, a man will leave his mother and, ma and father, as well as the woman will leave his mother and father, and they join together via an intimate relationship, and they become one. And they become a man and a woman with the purpose of procreation and fellowship and other things that come along. Mm -hmm. And uh, in today's world, we have now the relationship building. We can really uh, see how it was done in the Old Testament and also in our old times. But today we have the social media. Okay. And the social, the social media is where now people, and actually most of the percentage in, our, in the, the young generation, that maybe they are finding their partners to settle in life with. And you find that others are there. And however much we are Christians, we cannot exempt ourselves from the contemporary media and the social media, Facebook, Twitter, and the other things that are there for way of communication. And along that, people have been able to meet and come into relationship. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You, the, you, you actually came into my second question. But there is one good thing that you did as you were talking about the biblical foundation of relationship. Where you said, uh, you articulated about the Ten Commandments. Six about, uh, four about God. Six about people. people. The way you should relate together. Yes. And then you have gone ahead to talk about what is happening today. And that was my question, second question, Roger. Mm -hmm. That is the biblical foundation. What is, it, what is happening to the Are we still following the biblical way? Uh, apparently, apparently, as we are depassing on, and as technological advancements are coming our way, it seems we are getting influenced far and <laughs> far from <laughs> godliness. <laughs> because as, as the Labradorian says, it's about God is interested with his relationship with people. Mm -hmm. That even as you coexist, even as you meet someone else and you become intimate, you become friends, you grow in relationship, mm -hmm. God is interested in how you first related with him. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, people are meeting and without even knowing each other's tradition and breeze and, and, and faiths, they want to come together. Mm -hmm. uh, have you not discovered even where they are coming from? Have you not discovered another land? where the other part is coming from. Mm -hmm. And so they would want to develop their relationship without involving God. Then what is very unfortunate is when things are getting wrong, that's when they are getting back to God. Mm -hmm. Yet, they did not start with God in the first place. Okay. So um, I would say that uh, the, the social media and the technological advancements they are in are not much promoting the relationship that we ought to have with okay. God. Uh -huh. The bigger strength. Uh -huh. Another one we have diverted from yes. godliness relationship yeah, sure. to the so-called social media. Yes. And when you talk of social media, whom do you find in social media? You people, when you're in the social media, whom do you expect to fight there? I know there are strangers, there are all those in, in whom do you expect to fight? Of course I expect uh, everyone, everyone. Uh -huh. Our mothers, our fathers, uh -huh. our sisters, our brothers, our younger ones, uh -huh. yeah. They are there, mm. they are on social media. Yeah. Timon, who, whom do you find on social media? Social media is pub, it's a public place, so you find any kind of a person. Any kind of a person? Yeah. Okay, I let him jump to Mudoni. Social yes. media, you find anybody? Yes. Anyone it's like, uh, you know, we say that every, in every market there is a mad person. Yes. So you, you also find mad people on social media. So many of them. So many of you. Yes. How, how then do you decide whom to relate to? 
you first get to go through the profile of that person. Mm -hmm. Say for example like Facebook, uh, you'll go through, you'll see what that person is posting, is that person a Christian, mm -hmm. do you know? Okay, you look at the profile of a person. Yes, you look at the profile and whatever that person has posted. We before you accept that person as your friend. We, and, okay, so yes. we are coming back to the profile of a person. So come on. Yeah, for me I will look such uh, things like uh, dressing code. The dressing code? Of course that one will signify who you are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the dressing code. Yeah, the dressing code. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. yeah. You, okay, you, I, I, ladies are hearing the dress code. The code is very important yeah, exactly. in, the, in social media. And also the, the gentleman, because you find somebody with some regarious, yeah. you, which portray him as belonging to a certain cult. Yeah, and yeah. hairstyle. Thank you. Corey, what? <laughs> in Facebook, you find everyone. Yeah. We are living in a dynamic world eh? mm -hmm. uh, where everyone even our fathers, our mothers, are in social media. Mm -hmm. So in social media, it's a public uh, place that you find everyone. And uh, choosing whom to become friends with nowadays in social media is mm -hmm. becoming tougher. Because you can post even what you are not. Mm -hmm. Yes, you cannot, you, you cannot know me through Facebook. Uh, you can post something, and when you see me, on the ground, mm -hmm. I'm so different from the person that you... From the person you that yeah. you, you, you yeah. is on the social yeah. media. That's so true. I want to come to what those three panels, I mean, our youth have said, especially the profile. And Mudoni says, you look at the profile. Mm -hmm. Does a profile, uh, I mean, describe a person? Uh, I feel, and I want to buy what uh, our brother Mesha Kori is saying here. Mm -hmm. That in as much as yeah, you can't really use your mic. Yeah, in as much as someone spoke about getting to identifying or rather studying the profile of us of someone that is appearing on social media, mm -hmm. social media is very dynamic in this that every other person is there, and it's uh, and all the rise and derisions exist there. You realize it's only in, in social media where everyone is a university graduate. Uh -huh. You realize it's on social media where everyone is very cosmetic in their images. Mm -hmm. Someone who come and present themselves as very beautiful, our lover had some, and very strong, little don't you know that if that's their little face, mm -hmm. they, have, uh, they have applied some makeups, mm -hmm. or rather they have borrowed some clothes, or even a lot of um, <laughs> photoshopping is happening. Okay. So not every profile is as honest or rather as trustworthy mm -hmm. as it ought to be. At, as it looks. As it looks. Not uh -huh. every face uh -huh. is as young as you may think. Exactly. Not every other person is as beautiful and as strong as uh -huh. they appear. Uh -huh. uh, the, uh, the face you are seeing, my face, is my very face plus a little makeup. Uh -huh. You get me? Uh -huh. Wait until I've not applied that makeup, that uh -huh. little, you know, kinyozi thing, uh -huh. that little of, um, you know, applying of some little oil here and there. Uh -huh. You can be sure you realize that Rogers is darker uh -huh. than is appearing. Uh -huh. and so we need to be very careful into these people that you are following. And I want to say, it is my own conviction that before you relate with anyone, because you say that on social media we're meeting strangers, uh -huh. people that we know and people that are people that are strange, and we are likely to be attracted to the strangers and the people that we know. Mm. Maki, most of these young people don't have are not friends on social media with their relatives, mostly their parents. Facebook. Yes. So my feeling is before you trust test, uh -huh. um, follow closely. Before you start communicating, follow very closely. And I can tell you, if someone is cosmetic, time will prove you Thank right. Thank you. Doreen, with just one minute because our time is gone, we, all, we need to go for a break. Uh, Kema talked about the dress code in social, on social media. And as you talk on, social, uh, on the dress code, uh, Lojas has talked about the false image that we have in social media. Sometimes you find a, a, a picture of a, a, of a teenager, you think that the owner of that profile is a teenager, yet it's a mama of 70 years. Mm -hmm. True or false? That is true. Mm -hmm. With the, world, the way the world is moving, it's possible to find an old mama you're looking as young as Doreen. Mm -hmm. Why? Because of the cosmetic that we are praying ourselves. Mm -hmm. The pawns, the powder, blah, blah, blah. And you know, in social media, 
when you come to social media, you have got different motive. We, everyone has got a different motive as to why I'm in that social media. So you find that you can find a, a very natural person okay. on social media mm -hmm. and who you are on social media. And you are able to interpret that person is a, 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 a mchungaji or that person is an old mama and she accepts her age. But you find also there are those there with very, very disrespecting mm -hmm. code of dressing. Okay. And you find, to conclude, when gine venya wameva, you find that they are in short skirt, maybe the way they are dressing, you find there are a lot of question marks. So thank you so much. And in social media, one must be very careful how you post your pictures because we evaluate them and determine you. whom you are at times. On social media, one must be very careful how you post your pictures. We will be coming back. And once we come back, we will, we will be addressing, is there a new love on social media? See you then. It was really hot when we went for a break. These people have a lot to tell. Is there true love on social media? And I want to hear from the youth, voices of the youth. Is there true love? Can you find a true lover on social media? One whom you will work with to marriage. Modoni, is yes. there true love on social media? I think no. You think no? Why? Yes. Why no? Because. We are all, okay, 90% of what goes on in social media uh -huh. is fake. Fake? Yes. You, find you want me to underline the word fake? Yes, 90% is fake. Not uh -huh. all, I'm uh -huh. saying 90%. 90%. Yes. Uh -huh. You find everyone is rich, everyone has a degree or PhD or master's. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. When somebody is driving a car? Yes. Uh -huh. They live Living in, in a, a nice mansion. Place. So most of the things are fake. Yes. Do you agree with the Modern Kema? Of course I agree. Why? Because according to my own type of interpretation, there are several types of love which are listed in this ad. And when you list them, you see that this one in the social media, it is a fake one. Because it is, best, uh, it is mostly indulged in eros mm -hmm. type of love. Because you love someone because you've seen someone has, put a, has posted a very good picture. You see, such guy. So there is no real love in social media. There is no real love. I can see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Cory. I can say 10%. I cannot say that it's hundred percent that it's not legal. So you want to agree? Ten percent. You want to agree with Modon? Yes. Modon the, said ninety percent are fake. Yeah, ninety percent yeah. is fake, uh -huh. but ten percent uh -huh. is real because uh -huh. we have stories of people who met in uh -huh. social media, uh -huh. and they are one now. They are one. Yeah. So ten percent, it, yes. it, it it works. Yes. That chemistry works. Yes. Let Greece, us not. That chemistry works. Let us not say that. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, I would say yes. Uh -huh. If we say no, eh, uh -huh. like we, we stick to no, we uh -huh. would really be disappointing those people who met there sincerely and got married. They are there. You know somebody who uh -huh. met there and got married. Yeah, I've been watching wedding shows and most of them say maybe they met on social media, they but they took Facebook. some time to meet uh -huh. one on one. Eh? Uh -huh. So there is true love. Uh -huh. Some people might be genuine. So they say it, they quantify. 10%, 10%, camera is 0%. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, um, 15, 10, 10, yeah. 15, 10. Yeah, very okay. few. Let's mm. hear from Timon. For me, you can find the true love 
and also people are doing businesses on this social media. Mm-hmm. One thing, I'm a follower of Rogers Monene. Mm-hmm. He is a brand and he has taken his brand to Facebook. So I follow him because he's a motivational speaker. Mm-hmm. So if easy Facebook zingine ni zingine za watoto, but if you're mature enough, you'll create a brand that is certain in Facebook. You can sell yourself on Yeah, on Facebook. Yeah, I'm then, looking for a lava. No, not that way. <laughs> what yeah. I mean is, I look for somebody who fits my status. Mm-hmm. What I'm looking for as a man. Mm-hmm. And if I find a lady on Facebook, mm-hmm. we talk, we meet. And from there we can start something. Okay. That is the voice of the young people. They are saying yes, they are saying no, they don't know where they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They are there at the crossroads. Yeah, and what can you find a true love on social media? I, I would say yes, if one has uh, the spirit of discernment. Apparently, true, a lot of evil happens in the social media. Mm-hmm. And uh, as we have all confirmed, uh, we have uh, a big percentage of people who are very cosmetic, who are not as honest, who are not as true. Mm-hmm. But in my own case, in the same, same, very dirty world, I've met, interacted, and got very close with people who have connected me to great destinies. So it all depends with this discernment. And that's why I said, before you trust, test. Before you give yourself in two, we can do some business, we can become friends, you can purchase my books, you can purchase my whatever I'm selling there. Uh, test whether that other person is as honest. Then again, there is something called the mutual friends. Who else relates with this person? Because you also have the pseudo accounts. The accounts that are not really somebody is using somebody's other face mm-hmm. and somebody's name and all that to try and connect. Check on the mutual friends. And they keep on feeling. Be- if, be- before you continue, before mm-hmm. you continue, before you trust, test. test. Yes. How do you tra- test? You is- can inbox them. How? You can try to... Okay, mostly mtu atajificha all through. Mm. So you can inbox that person and see their conversation through the words of somebody. You can know who that person is. That is testing. I inbox somebody and yeah, I can test through inboxing. Uh-huh. <laughs> that is testing camera. Yeah, you can still test someone through conversation, online mm. conversation. One one, yeah. one on one. Yeah. Does that mean that uh, I don't know, maybe lo just should be clear on this. Mm-hmm. How do you test? Um there is, there is no person that, uh, that is cosmetic that can sustain themselves that way for a long time. Mm-hmm. If uh, you are not real, I will not even have to inbox you. I will not even have to study your profile or even all that. I will first check on the mutual friends. Who else relates with you? Uh-huh. Then give you some time mm-hmm. and see the kind of responses that you give. Mm-hmm. I also likely to go to the photos and have a problem with these people who are not who don't post their photos okay. who will um, want to hide their photos if you are if you're afraid of your own face mm-hmm. then who may might to trust your face okay. i'm also afraid of these people who want to dress or rather present themselves as having interest in suggestive ways in questionable ways and all that then keep following them for a while until I see the kind of interaction that you're having with my other mutual friends and okay. all that mm-hmm. but I, I have that feeling as we all confirmed, that if one is cosmetic and you have the discerning spirit, on the first instance, something will tell you this person cannot be trusted. Thank you. This is what I got from you. Number one, you look at the mutual friends. Mutual friends, yes. The event that this person attended. Yes. The photos that are posted in his, yes. on his timeline. Yes. And so you are doing the testing. Yes. I think that we are helping our youth, Reverend Dori. And again, don't rush too fast. Eh. Don't, don't rush last, too fast. Uh, don't, you, oh, oh. Don't last just too fast to trust to trusting someone or Usi getting very intimate with them Usi siku, because again you never know. Usikubari haraka kabla ujanini. Goje atu maji teremuke upatam kondoake. Slowly, my dear. Slowly, Reverend Doreen. You hear what they said? Yes, they believe there is the true love uh-huh. on social media. Uh-huh. Uh, the Rogers has tried to unpack to us. Yes, the, the, the true love is there, but he has given us some tips uh-huh. on how to test the true love. Can you tell us, mm-hmm. are there dangers on social life, friendship or relationships? Definitely. Mm-hmm. Social media is good. Mm-hmm. You learn a lot. It carries a lot of information. You get to interact with people you've never met. 
you also there are people doing relationship and they are leading to marriage and people are living well you find them having testimonies of 10 years since we met we have children and we're doing well but also the other side of social media as Rogers would say there are people there yes who are very cosmetic and uh, maybe they are coming into your life and pretend for one year two year and three year and they are there, you are in a relationship, and maybe it is even reading to marriage, and they are there with a certain purpose. Mekutana now, you've met, you've tried, you've talked, but there are people who can be able to try to hide as much as they, they can. And the challenges of this kind of relationship in social media, depending with the motive of the person you've intermingled with or you, you develop the relationship with, some are con men. And people have really been conned Con in, through fellowship, through relationship. Mtu ana pretend, ana kupenda, blah, blah. And right away, ana kuja, ana kukon. And a lot of money, people have been conned uh -huh. on Facebook. Uh -huh. The other thing, people have, have really actually exposed each other on Facebook. Oh my, exposing. Yes. yes. You find that you are chatting with this person, you thought this person is irresponsible or responsible, but you find now, it's like what was trading within the week and last week mm -hmm. about this one gentleman from Germany. Mm -hmm. They had a relationship with girls in, in Kenya and you find now they are, he has exposed them in social media and some are people's wife. What, what is going to happen? Their marriages are stick and some have also been left uh, are we saying this is danger of social media actually and the relationship in social media? This guy coming from Germany never knew them, but they met through social media. I can different request to Kutane, and this is happening. Once a while, I would say, test the waters, test them, and it is a bit challenging to test them. Be very careful. Once again, I would say, as Rogers has said, have the discerning spirit. Mm. Pray God to give you the discerning spirit. Do a lot of calculation to the person whom you're meeting with. Otherwise, our young people will read into ditches. People will get diseases. People will get scorned. People will be misread. People will be killed. People have been killed through friends, friends in, social, in social media. So you must be very careful as young people and you interact with people in social media. You know, you, you remind me of a story that I read. Yes, please. Of a lady who, had a, who met a friend on social media. Yes. And they became so intimate. Yeah. They had never met. And I want you to address this. Mm. To what extent should this friendship go? Because this lady was in the university. Yeah. And they used to have phone sex yes. on social media. Having phone sex on social media, mm -hmm. the lady was taking her nude photo, said it to the gentleman. Mm -hmm. The lady was actually trying to record her with those sound of whatever you understand, mm -hmm. sending those sound to the gentleman. Mm -hmm. But then all of a sudden, the relationship ended. Break. And this gentleman mm -hmm. exposes exposed the, the lady. Mm -hmm. All the pictures were on social media. It's those dangerous. Days. It's very How, dangerous. To what extent should we go? One, I keep on feeling that each and every one of us has a private life uh, that needs to not to be exposed to other people. Mm -hmm. It's very unfortunate that uh, through these connections, we are getting to, to trust those other people just too much to an extent that what is private, our, our, what is private about us, we would want other people to know for whatever benefit and all that. And I'm feeling in anything that is likely to rust, there must be boundaries. And the boundaries are, there is a private life. Even as I expose myself just too much, I ought to know I have a private life. There is some bits, I have some boundaries, I have some personal principles. There is a match that I cannot go for whatever benefit. Okay. You have a private life. Yes. Then at the same time, there is issue about orientations to things that are not alongside your faiths, briefs, cultures, and traditions. If you raise that other party that you befriended or become very close with, are orienting you to things that are not in line to the biblical, the scriptural faiths, like us, we are Christians, or even our traditions and our culture, then don't get their way. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think we, we, are, we are moving on. Where. You have your own private life. And I thank God for you people. You have your own private in your head. Mark, as you add, because we are adding this show, what advice would you advise your fellow youths about fellowship on social media? Just 
That is second each. We start with Mudoni. What I'd advise my fellow youths is don't trust too much. Have your private life. Test, as we've been told. Test. Yes. Before okay. trusting. Before yeah. trusting. Before trusting. Let me come to Grace. Yes. Grace would say, I don't really trust people on social media. Personally, I have a problem with accepting anyone. So just stick to... You are telling them not to, to trust everybody on social media. Yeah, test. Mm. Actually, don't trust too much. It's, I go with what the Dorin In other the words, Dorin Dorin from one. Even if you find a friend in social media, mm. until you meet, yeah. don't trust that person. Yes. So yes. don't inbox. <laughs> yeah, man. For me, I would just echo the words of my friends and also my... I would call you the mentors and say that you should not test the waters before, you should test the waters before you plunge deeper. Eh, yeah, that's what I would say. Thank you so much. We go to music. I can say, be careful. And then, have that spirit, discernment spirit. Know who you are moving with and know who you are talking to. Okay. Thank you. For me, it's a discernment spirit and that's what don't try too fast. Don't laugh too much. The youth are listening to you. You have the last chance to speak to them on friendship, on social media, and that intimate relationship. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I would want to advise the young people out there. Yes, social media is good. People are relating there. But be very, very, very careful how you intermingle with anybody you meet on social media. You may inbox one another. You may find time to meet, and you may meet, but be calculative after you meet what is next. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Rogers. I would ask our young people to be responsible and prove themselves uh, mature enough. Uh, and responsibility comes, freedom comes with some amount of responsibility. In as much as we're in a free world, where gadgets are highly affordable and we can access them even for purposes, studies and research and all that, let us know our boundaries. Let us learn to, let's acknowledge how far is too far. Otherwise, we end up uh, regretting quite a lot. Thank you so much. You have heard it from these able panelists that we hear today. You have a choice to make. And you, as you make that choice, remember, choices have consequences. Whatever you choose to, life, to do in life, let it add value to, to, you, to, to you. Remember, you can choose to live with the people, just as lots of the Bible choose to live with the, the, the people from Sodom and Gomorrah, not knowing that he was choosing to live with evil-minded people. It is you to choose, and as you choose, remember the word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in the book of Mark, chapter 13 and verse 34. Do not read. Watch out that no one deceive you. God bless you. I'm Karyuki Gige. Let us connect again next week at a time like this. God bless you.